Krisha here with the bright side of eBay. Um, so something kind of exciting. I got a new uh, light set up for my items um, while I'm taking my photographs. Uh, so the the whole kit ended up costing me. I thought it was seventy five, but it actually ended up costing me um, like fifty five dollars. And I got two lights, uh, some backdrops, some a white backdrop, a black black back backdrop and a green screen type thing if you're going to be editing and putting some other images in there which I'm totally not going to be doing but um so I'm excited about that funny thing is is that you know I went ahead and purchased the stuff and you know oh it's exciting and then I looked on YouTube um just today and I was like you know what maybe I should look on YouTube about how to set up lighting stuff and Apparently the lights that I got, they're the umbrella lights and everybody on YouTube is like, whatever you do, don't get the umbrella lights. You know, we know that it's cheaper, but don't do it. Get the box lights. So I didn't get the soft box lights. Uh, I ended up getting the umbrella lights. So, but I, you know, it's all right. It's a good start. You know, maybe after a while, if I'm, you know, really get very, specific you know I just want my pictures to be perfect then maybe I will go ahead and get uh, the soft box but I'm okay with my umbrellas sorry everybody <laughs> that says don't get umbrellas but that's that's me I, I went out and I got the umbrella lighting uh, so here's my setup obviously it came with a ton of different options and actually the um, the backdrop is supposed to be like mounted to this so it has like another pole that you can mount the backdrop to uh, so I am trying to get this done quickly so I actually scotch taped it taped it on with some nice eBay tape to the wall you know my items a lot of my items are bigger items but they're not so tall so you know went ahead and taped it to the wall and here's a little clip of my set up hi guys uh, so super excited I finally decided to invest some money in a backdrop um, I don't have a lot of space you know in my home to like have a permanent backdrop so definitely needed something that I could break down you know I can't paint my walls white and just have an area so I wanted something I could uh, you know use and then be able to break down um so yeah i did go ahead and spend a little money i think it ended up being like 75 dollars obviously probably made in china why it's so cheap but you know i i wanted to get something um not too crazy so this one has a white backdrop it has three umbrellas um, to clamp them, the lights, and um, I'm still going to use my cell phone to take the pictures. Um, I do have other cameras, but again, I have limited time and I need to get the stuff posted as quickly as possible. Um, so I will unpack this and can show you how it looks once set up. Okay, so <laughs> I got my little setup. Um, I'm obviously going to need to iron this thing. Um, Usually, you know, you can put like a towel over like if you're if you're um, uh, Ironing stuff that's really delicate just put a towel on top of it and then iron um, With the towel on top. So that's what I'll do. I've got one light set up um, I'll go ahead and set up the other one on the other side Here's my white background. Oh, and here's <laughs> how I've got it up right now. I just, I really wanted to test it right away. So I just put some duct tape up there and taped it on the wall, which hmm, really might not be a bad idea. Um, it came with a ton of pieces um, and that's mostly to put up the backdrop. Um, so, you know, it's got cl the clips to clip on the backdrop. So I don't know. I don't know if that's something that I'm gonna need. Um, Obviously, if I got like a super tall, larger item, uh, or if I'm somewhere where there's no wall. Uh, so I might not use that. I might just be using the umbrella, 
them both umbrellas and um, the backdrop. Uh, I do have different color backdrops, so if I do have like a white item, um, I do have a black, black backdrop, so I'll let you know how it goes. I took some pictures, I was pretty happy with those. Um, and I think if I get another light set up, it should be great. And then just iron out the, the um, decreases. So here is the setup. Um, so I'm going to use these two umbrellas. I got my backdrop, which I tried to iron, but still has some wrinkles. So I'll have to figure that out. And then I've got this beautiful duct tape right now. Um, so I'll see how all this goes and, uh, that'll be my new setup. Okay. I just picked up this vintage radio this week. The name is, uh, Criterion 4 and the sound is great. Um, it is a little bit scratchy. The volume when you, when you're turning the knob, sometimes it gets a little bit scratchy. So I will go ahead and list that or, or describe that in the listing. So let me just turn it on for a second so you guys can hear. Baby, hey. oh, come on. Austin's Mix 94.7. Hurry in to Factory Mattress. Of course, commercial. But anyways, it does have really great uh, sound. And so I will list that. I got that for $20 and uh, off of Facebook uh, market, and I'll go ahead and try to list it for maybe 100, 110. Right now there aren't any listed on eBay, so uh, that might help me as far as, you know, putting the price a little bit higher. So maybe 110, maybe even 120, I'll see. But really cool item, and I'll, I'm trying to get that listed today. As you can see, I've got this little setup right here. Uh, I'm gonna have to work on that. I know it doesn't look great right now. And I'm gonna put the lights up and see. Yeah, I've just been working on a lighting setup and just, you know, it's a work in progress. I wanna work on my photos and make sure that they're, they look, you know, more professional, but at the same time, I don't have a lot of time to be setting up everything. So I'm gonna photograph this and I'll see how the photos turn out. So I've got my little lighting <laughs> um, photo shoot set up for my item. So I'll take some pictures and I'll uh, show you how those turn out with this beautiful, super sophisticated lighting setup. And here is my next item that I'm about to photograph. It is a Sony car Discman, because don't you always need to play your favorite CDs um, in your car, and if you don't have a CD player anymore. Uh, this one was $7.99, I had, you know, about 10% off, so it ended up being about you know, seven, a little over $7. It also came with a bunch of free CDs. What's this one? Oh, The Beatles and Brooke Frazier. Um, anyways, a lot of times when you buy like CDs and TVs and DVDs, you always end up getting free, st well not free stuff, but just stuff that's already in, in the bag and you know, they're not going to take that stuff out. So they just, just take everything, you know, it, it was all in the bag. It's part of the part of the purchase so got a bunch of CDs that I can use for testing and uh, yeah so I'll photograph these and then I'll show you a clip of how it, how it came out There is me photographing some of my first items using my beautiful setup. Showing you how I'm photographing now with my light set. 
obviously I definitely encourage everybody to go on YouTube and see how other people are setting up for their lighting kits you know I mean and, and then you know obviously if you're just starting out I mean you know when I started out I was just using obviously I'm still using my phone but uh, you know just whatever backdrops um, you know I'm selling a lot of electronics so it's you know I do have clothing as well which you know I probably need to rephotograph some of that clothing so it looks more appealing but with electronics I think that it's actually and I'm like using flash and stuff and I feel like the flash is is important because it really makes every if there's any imperfections is there if there's anything that you really want to show the buyers that it has a defect the flash will make it look as ugly as it can so and that's kind of why I do actually like the flash for electronics because you want to know what people what you're going to be getting and so those will definitely make you know if it's got like a scratch and stuff and you do a flash on it uh, you'll definitely see that that scratch on there so now with my pictures looking much more professional much more nicer everything's real crisp uh, let's see you know hopefully my buyers don't get the item and say whoa that picture looked really good and this you know electronics not looking as glad you know as great as the photo did so uh, I know everybody's very you know on eBay and taking photos you gotta take the best photos and it's gotta you know look perfect but I mean truthfully like I said a lot of the stuff vintage items that I'm selling you know they have imperfections so like I said sometimes you know I like ha doing the flash I like having an ugly picture so that people can really see you know hey you're getting an item that's like 40 years old so yes it might have some imperfections uh, but at the same time you know you when you're scrolling through you want to you want to select those pretty items you know the ones that have the pretty pretty photos so we'll see how it goes I think it, it will be beneficial obviously you know I, I need to make sure I'm doing close-up if it does have any type of um, imperfection you know oh it looks really pretty you know at the first photo but I need to make sure I'm zooming in on any imperfections that they might have also um, and then also describe it in the listing, like just be very detailed, you know, it has a scratch here, it's got multiple scratches, you know, it's it's got this imperfection, it's got dust buildup, and you know, some stuff I have has a really, a lot of dust buildup, and some of it I don't want to, you know, mess with it and take be taking it apart, so I mentioned that in the listing, and I think a lot of people that are buying these vintage items are somewhat familiar with them and you know know how to clean them, know how to treat them. And I really don't wanna mess with the integrity of the item. I'm not an expert and I definitely am not one to be taking apart vintage items you know, just to clean some dust out of there. I'd rather go ahead and let the buyer know that and then they can go ahead and decide how they wanna go ahead and, and handle that. Uh, so yeah. So that's my new uh, lighting setup and we'll see how it goes. In my last video, I did show a rooster uh, that I had a sculpture, ceramic sculpture, and I had listed it um, rooster with a stern face. And that one actually sold a couple days after that video and is on its way, I think to Pennsylvania or something. So, and I, I assume it arrived there safely because I haven't heard anything from the buyer and it's already been a few days but you never know but I I packed it very you know very securely so I you know almost 100% positive that it should have arrived safely I have recently also sold a TV um, it was a Sony 13 inch with a DVD player because I had like two of those so that one only ended up selling for $59.95 so here's that item and the rooster item. So the Toshiba was actually a local pickup, which I really like local pickups because a lot of my items, like I said, they're, they're larger items. So if I can just meet somebody and be like, here's your TV, you know, hey, have, have a great day that's great and so uh, this buyer and it's very a lot of my items that I sell are a lot of the buyers have zero feedback um, again they're unique items that 
people can't find anywhere else and I think that that could be a thing where you know it's some, something an item that they people really want and maybe they've never been on eBay but they're searching all the and you know searching all through the internet and they're like oh wow the only place I can find it is on eBay and so then they end up signing up and so this guy had zero feedback I know everybody's like oh no zero feedback uh, again I haven't really had issues with people with zero feedback so he had zero feedback he went ahead and bought it paid for it right away and he's like hey where can I meet you um, I live in North Austin because I'm in Austin I was like I'm in South Austin okay like let's meet like midway okay cool so um, on Saturday uh, we ended up um, we ended up you know I ended up doing the drop-off and the guy ended up being like super excited um, about the item and apparently he was gonna be using it like I said a lot of these items people are using it because they have Super Nintendos and they have these old school consoles and they want you have to have these old school TVs in order to get the graphics the same you know authentic graphics so that's why he had bought it because he had some old school um, I think a, a Nintendo Super Nintendo and he was like I'm so excited I'm gonna be playing my video games on here like this is the greatest thing ever uh, so he was super happy uh, I forgot to tell him to leave me positive feedback, but I might send him a, a message and ask him to do that because, uh, again, he, he had zero feedback, which, you know, now he has one feedback because I left it for him. But, um, you know, I'll probably ask him, send him a message and be like, hey, can you can you leave me some positive feedback because he's new to eBay. He just, like, signed up, so um, he might not know how that all works. So, so yeah, so that was a good um, a good so, and one other thing that I was going to mention is that before I didn't use any type of, you know, photograph manipulation, uh, so I just recently started kind of playing with the contrast, and so for these ones I did use on the phone, they have a vibrant option which kind of increases the contrast and so I really did like that it just completely washes out the, you know the white so you can't see you know any type of because a lot of times that cloth it has like lines on it and stuff so it did completely wash that out and so but I would be careful with that because you know you don't want to completely skew the colors of your item I did on one of the um, things that I photographed I mean the color looked completely different so you do have to kind of be careful with that especially like clothing you know you want to make sure that people know the actual color of the item and that it doesn't look completely different when they get it obviously electronics like black and silver so it might look, make the black look a little bit darker um, or the silver a little bit shinier but not to the point where they're gonna get it and be like oh my gosh I thought this was like super shiny uh, so I don't think that will necessarily be an issue for those items but I will kind of watch it with my clothing items and any other items that seem like the color is very off so I would go ahead and recommend you know you messing around a little bit with the contrast Again, you know, don't overdo it. There always has to be a balance, but it does help to kind of differentiate when you're getting that white background for it to just be crisp and white. Uh, so that is something that I also use this time in my photos. And so I didn't, I have never done that before, but just decided to do that. And I like the way they turned out. Yes, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, subscribe. And I hope that you guys are doing great in your stores and selling items.